Yeah. There we go. What is this uh, actual location? This is Richard's apartment. So this needs to summarise how he's living, um, which is obviously very sloppish and alcoholic. So there will be beer all over the place. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's fake. very, very fake. Fake. It's fake. Fake. Yeah, it's fake drugs. Yes. drugs yes. that are anyway, so. fake. <laughs> anyone, anyone doing drugs in the studio? I'm never trusted anyone. Sunday, I'm working for free. Yeah. I don't know. I don't care. It's also a good cause. For me, if he's a passion project. In all that I've seen? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Murphy, when you were speaking to me, you said um, how you kind of find pieces of yourself within Richard, the clown. Yeah. Um, how do you go about finding relatability with a character that on the surface seems quite absurd in terms of like obviously a clown in, in society? I'll, I'll keep the short story relatively short. I was, and this sounds absolutely bizarre and doesn't sound like it's related at all, but I've got a point to it. So I was a goth in school. I was always an outcast. I was... Uh, was bullied throughout my school life, both junior school and high school, and that obviously put me onto the outskirts of um, not only my school life but my life following that. So I always felt like I wasn't really part of a society and I didn't really fit in. That links to this in the way that Richard, as a clown, which is an ethnic minority, ethnic minorities are in this universe pushed to the side, they are outsiders, they do live in the outskirts of society and they are looked down upon in this, which is very much the way I felt um, when I was going through my school life. Um, <clears throat> I, when I first wrote this in 2014, I was going through some heavy depression. It was the worst it had ever been. And it, it, it really, writing this kind of, helped me to express that. Um, so I think, I think the, the, the memories of being bullied for all those years and never feeling a part of something, mixed with my depression, and I was also drinking a lot, I, I created this character. But I, I didn't, as I say, I didn't really think about the first draft, I just wrote it, and I think it's because it was already all in my head. Sound right. Alright. Scene one, take one. Action. So, um, I'm going back to work today, so I can maybe start sending some money, you know, for a bar. Boss. Yeah? That was so much better, I just fucked up. Oh, really? Actually, you know what? Because we're going to go from there, I might just get you started and stood up. Do you want to do this Yeah. If you walk towards the window now. Yeah. From there? Oh, start stood up? Yeah, yeah, start stood up. Yeah, yeah, sound rolling. Camera's rolling, awesome. Take seven. 
It was a friend of his was acting in one of his productions called Forward Slash Jobs and she messaged me just saying, Kyle, I need a photographer, I know you can take photos, can you come down? Because apparently they had this photographer and he just didn't really suit the, the feel on set. And I went down and I, I spent half the time clowning around and being an idiot and making jokes and stuff. But even though I act like a bit of an idiot on set generally, um, people are like, well, the photos are worth it, we'll put up with him. No, that, that's literally what I've been told a number of times is that people will put up with me because the photos are good enough. And um, he really liked what we did, and I ended up helping out a little bit with the set dressing and stuff. And this time he just asked me to come back as still sofa, but with it being small production, I think everyone does a bit of everything, really. I know. <laughs> I've got a bit of experience, just a little bit in props and set stuff, and that was on um, a proper BBC production. It was like a, a big drama series thing. And to be honest, this has been as good as, if not better, than that massive art department I had on that, because it's just people who know what they're doing, they're not fussing for the sake of fussing, they're not doing stuff that's overly complicated, they're just working with what they've got. I mean, the standout for me um, was the sort of dodgy doctor's surgery we did. Uh, you guys were on that, weren't you? We had the we're just polythene sheets from Wilco and um, an old table covered in, I think it was couch cushions and stuff. But in the end, somehow it all came together and it looked like an actual dodgy doctor's surgery. Thought to be an act of terrorism. Police say that they believe this was the work of a group of clowns, mainly the terrorist organisation known only as Carnival. Unfortunately, the incident has been estimated to have claimed over 27 normal lives. Fine clowns were also injured in the blast. Where is that? Just the, the back end of nowhere, really. Uh, Shift Town, they call it. Baltic Market, there we go. Scam. Yeah. <laughs> it is not scam, it never will be scam. Nothing against scam, of course. I love my scam views as much as anyone else. Just don't come near me. Almost. Yeah, at least I love you, Scott. Yeah, I've, I've done this a couple of times before. The bandage I'd never had on, but because it was on for so long, it started to really sting. Um, there was a lot to do in that scene, so I think this should be quicker tonight. And I've had this on for what? What's the longest I've had this on for when we've tested it out? About an hour? Yeah. That way, like profile, yeah. Oh. Just start like that, just love them. Like you not know what you're doing. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. And we're rolling. Uh, scene 17, shot one, take one. I'm sorry, I forgot to bring all my other <laughs> balloons and other clown crap. <laughs> I'll have to move straight to my final act. The bullet catch. Richard, please! Oh, you deaf! It's silly. Cheers. And now, what are we doing here? We are taking off the prosthetic. Oh, oh that feels so nice to take off. Oh, oh. 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 jam, isn't it? Oosh. So is this for a head like? Brand, no, no, it's no. um, it's called bruising. So it's a special makeup wheel that I use, and it has all the colours of like a bruise. And I use that to make it look like all the skin's all bruised. Can I see it? If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather.